Welcome everybody back to Brass Farms. Just wanted to take a few minutes to uh, talk about our broders. We've had a few requests about wanting to know more about them. Uh, we've got a few chicks in there starting to hatch and just wanting to walk you through how they're designed and how well they do work. It's something that you can make yourself. It's uh, pretty simple. And we're gonna walk you through it and show you how to everything about it. All these broders, are basically three by threes. They'll hold 100 chicks each. It's a very simple design. We use a peck line for water, and uh, just, it just feeds through um, uh, through a hose, uh, which you can run in, and you can bucket feed it all, but these right here are, are pressurized, so you have to keep pressure on this particular system. Um, but what we have is we have a long uh, heat element which runs the whole length of the brooder, which is uh, right at three feet. And then we have an LED light at the back. And that heating element is a 400 water. And we like 400 watts, so if you keep you, if it's winter time or if you keep your uh, place um, air conditioned where you put them, then it can maintain heat and not give you any issues of your chicks getting cool. And you can adjust it up and down to um, to accommodate them whatever they need and we've got a real simple system which um, we have a light switch which will cut the brooder on and off and we've got it wired just very simply and you just hit the light switch it turns on this particular um, um, little thermostat it just does heat only and it's celsius and we've got it set on uh, 37 Celsius, that's what we like to keep it on. And it doesn't take very long at all to uh, make it to where it will maintain that. And then we have um, um, just a rapid uh, chick feeder in there. And we use half by half uh, wire in the bottom. You can use plain or coated. And, uh, and then when you get ready to not, when it's not in use, you just flip it right off and it just goes right back off and you can clean it and sanitize it, which this one has been. And, and then we've got some, it's got a starting to get some hatches uh, going off now. And we've just got a few scattered around that's starting to go in as they get dry. And we've got a few right here, some white breasts that's starting to go in. And uh, see that one's on about 35.6. And you can adjust that to whatever you want it to do. And here's a few colored breasts uh, that's starting to um, come along. We've got some black copper morans. Got some why nots are starting to hatch and some flower hens. And here's some Rhode Island reds. And then here's some leg bars that's starting to hatch and, and come out. But these are very simple. We, like I said in the past, we uh, we like um, putting everything on rollers because our stuff is on slabs. So we like to be able to roll them around and be able to take the um, uh, containers up under there and we able to roll them out. We can take them outside and clean them. And that way we can sanitize where the poop goes and then we can uh, put it, slip it back under there, and we keep a really uh, nice, dry, uh, odor-free uh, facility all the time. And uh, but we just wanted to go through it a little bit with you um, and give you a little bit of an ideal. Um, we like to put this board right here on the very front. Uh, it just helps maintain the heat where it doesn't seep out across the top. Um, it just holds a little bit more heat in and drops it down to where it's about six inches from the floor. That way the chicks, um, it, the, some of the heat will escape where it don't hold it too tight because we don't want it to uh, create um, just a huge amount of heat in there where it doesn't ever leave where the chicks can suffocate or whatever. So that's very important. And, um, but other than that, it's a pretty simple design. We like it because we can raise our doors up um, and look up under, and we have the board that comes with it where it'll uh, come back down. And, um, and then you just, 
eased it back down and it's right back where it belongs and it's um very self-contained and each one of these will hold 100 chicks and this is just one of our brooders that we have and it's um we've got uh, 10 stalls which i'll hold a thousand chicks for us and um but just uh want to take a few minutes and let y'all uh, if you have any questions we'll be glad to take a phone call or an email uh it's brassfarms.com and um and you can send us an email also through the website if you have any questions and we'll be glad to answer them for you or you can feel free to give us a call and we thank you very much <laughs>